Welcome to IBM BPM tutorial. Today I am planning to show how to export BPD as a RESTful service. So we can create a BPD in a uh, process designer in IBM BPM. We can expose this IBM BPM BPD to the external user to access as a RESTful service. So this is inbound service where external user can access our BPD data as a web RESTful web service. So first of all we will create a new process app and I am going to give as uh, BPD sample app and we need to give some acronym name so I will give BPD ESJ okay. and we can give some description of documentation for this uh, this sample uh, demonstrate exposing BPD as a uh, service for the external user you can say restful service also that's fine so click on create so now I have created a process application open in designer click on here So this will open our application which we have created just now and at that we are going to create a BPD and we are going to expose as a RESTful service. So here is we have processes and the processes we can create a our process that is BPD business process definition. Plus symbol and click on process then it will open a window yeah. so here is a new process we need to create we are going to create that I am going to name it as uh, I can name it um, restful BPD um, I have named it as a restful BPD. Click on finish. So this will create a sorry, click on multiple times. Uh, so this will create this has been created a BPD and this is the flow we need to implement. So first of all my BPD is going to what it is going to do. I'm going to so this BPD what it will do first of all whenever the user enter the his name and it is going to say that greetings hello his name just simple flow for that I need to create a variables I'm passing uh, input as name and output as greeting so input as name output as a greeting so by default it will take as a string so I'm going to keep it as a string okay now coming back to my definition I'm going to drag and drop three activities here I will explain what is the reason why I'm going to keep it three okay So then I'm going to draw lines. Okay. So the first one is for logging purpose. I'm going to keep as it log. The last one also log. And the between this is I'm going to keep a set a message. So I kept as a set a greeting. Set greeting. 
so first of all i need to implement now this one so log select the first activity and go to the implementation i will just bring up this it's okay and this is user task as of now but i want to keep it as a script tag okay so script activity so then click on script under this we can write a script here okay so i have log dot info and i'm going to enter some text here so i have entered as uh, entering into restful bpd and i want to log it what i want to log it i want to log it my message so whatever the input passing that i'm going to log it here so if you want to change the color of this you can just select this activity and select here the color automatically it will be populated and similarly i'm going to select the last lock and as the implementation i'm going to take a type of activity as a script under the script i'm going to log the message again so this is exit this is exit from restful service restful bpd and then what message i want to print here i want to print the greeting the final message okay so here also i'm going to keep it the same color as yellow that's fine it is not a, does not matter so then i'm um, selected set greeting this implementation i need to do here so i have user task here i need to select as a script activity and here i'm going to what i'm going to set i need to set the message for the greeting so that is my greeting is it called so what i need hello and whatever the name i'm going to pass that one i need to append here okay name okay this is simple Till now nothing is there we are not exposed anything this is the simple bpd so for example here uh, variables under the variables the name initially this is the name i have given uh, okay um, okay uh, i'm going to keep it some default value here for our testing purpose now okay so let's see if i run it what will happen i just run it name i set by default access and here it is successfully completed the result of this one under this my date i will see name as access which is i have by default i have set it and greeting as hello access so this is simple my bpd flow i have created so what i need to do now i need to expose as a restful service i'm going to remove this because of user need to enter this data later okay so now come back to the overview under the overview here expose expose to start so we need to select the group or user set of groups or users who can start this activity or uh, we can start this bpd we are exposing to the users so i selected as a all users and if you want to restrict it to some user groups you can select those groups and if you want to select only some username you can select that name also even you can create any groups also okay that's fine so this is the main thing we need to expose otherwise it will not visible uh, for the others and even you can see now i'm going to close my bpd here and here you can see now process exposed items processes under process restful bpd is exposed 
that is fine as of now now we have exposed this rest as a service but we want to test this one and so IBM BPM is provided a restful test API tester this is the one so I am trying this one in a cloud IBM BPM cloud so it has given this one otherwise you need to give your host name colon your port number till BPM rest UI till this point if you give you will get rest API tester let's see I think uh, before that I forget something so we have created this application right uh, now I need to deploy this into my process server okay so I'm going to create a snapshot I'm going to create a snapshot here uh, okay one point zero okay finish it snapshot is created now come back to my process center so click on this process app and you can see the snapshots this is the snapshot I need to install this snapshot into my server process server so I'm going to deploy into test environment so select this server and click on install once you start install and you can observe here the what is happening with the installation process it is started installation and you can refresh here to check the status so still running so now it is successfully completed okay so now successfully completed my deployment now come back to the rest tester so here is business process manager rest apis and at the processors it is processors related and you can see there is a exposed processors so this is a get operation and i'm clicking on execute curve okay so this is given response so here it will give all the responses and we need to know which is our application so our cpd sample up 1.0 version we have declared right so this is important thing so this is the process id here bpd id which we need for executing our service okay this is bpd id and what is the snapshot id this is the snapshot id we need it for executing or starting our bpd as a restful service this is the two things enough okay as of now let's see now i will come back to the process apps and start process okay and the start process it is a post and a start a new bpd instance so what this will do what it will do it will start a new bpd instance and here is we need bpd id which we have taken from here item id that is bpd id so i'm just copying this and snapshot id we need the snapshot id is this one okay and remaining all values are optional 
but if you want to pass some parameters here we can pass it that is what it is it will accept input as name okay and I am passing as access that's it and if you want to show all the data process related data you can select all otherwise if you want to show only the data select the data I'm going to show the only the data okay we'll show even what it will happen with all data so and click on execute so now this is my restful service so here is a URL where it will be until this is the common and the action is starting we are process and which process ID we are um, BPD ID we are starting the BPD ID of my process and which snapshot version I'm going to start this is the snapshot version I'm going to give and parameters we are passing as this is the parameter and part is data only now I got the status as 200 that means successful and I got the response as this one the data if you see this is my data input name as access and greeting as hello access name went as access greeting as hello access so this is how I can expose my service as a restful service and if we can give this URL to the external users they can access your BPD as a, a restful service and I have said here if you select only data it has shown only some data and if you select all and click on execute it will give lot of data which is related to your BPD so when it is created process instance and completed and what is the folder ID and all snapshot type and so many of data you are going to get it here okay so users might doesn't want this all data but for the business data you need you can access only by selecting data or sending your part as a data okay that's it i think uh, hope this might help for helpful for someone thank you in case of any questions you can just comment it in my video below good luck and thank you you can try your own and you can gain your knowledge thank you so much for watching this video